Hello everyone, this is Gokuru Bennett presenting to you another practical example on Excel which is practical question 3. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos since you have been following my lessons or if it is your first time to join my lessons, please enjoy. Using a suitable software package, type the file that has been created to calculate the profit or loss on sales at Ginger Orange Joyce store during a six day period, save it days sales. So this is the table that we should enter into Excel. So as usual, we shall first create a folder where we shall save our work. So this folder can be called practical three so you open excel and then you type there your work so after typing your work like that after typing there your work it is there so we are going to format it so that it is in this format how by doing the wrap text by merging some cells so that it really looks like what we see here. So this means that we are going to reduce that cell. We shall highlight that column. Yes, we are going to reduce our column when you look at uh, orange juice pack up it is wrapped like that so this means that we shall select that we choose wrap text after wrapping it we reduce it around there hope it is like this pack up and then also this we can also wrap text Highlight the whole row, then wrap text. So after wrapping text, we can reduce that around there, and then we bring this around there. This also reduce like that. So so far, what we have this is like that. We can highlight it and bold it by the way so that they look more can put them on top total cost day sales and this one are also under wrap text like that like that uh, next to this is uh, Highlight that and also bold it. This one can be bolded. Then highlight from A1 up to F1. You merge and center. Like that. So this means that so far we are at this position. So question A, using absolute and relative cell references, type the formula in cell D6 to calculate the total cost for Monday, which is a caps made. Copy it to cells D7 to D11 for Tuesday to Saturday. So they want us to use absolute and relative cell references type a formula in cell D6 to calculate total cost. So here, this is a D6 total cost that we shall say equal signs cost price times caps made on Monday. But then they say that we need to use relative and absolute. This means that this 40 will be multiplied 
to all these values in here. So this means that we make 40 fixed, highlight it and make it absolute by pressing F4. That is absolute. So meaning that we are mixing relative and absolute. This one is absolute, this one is relative. Meaning that this one we keep changing, but this one will keep fixed. Press enter and autofill the column. Next question is using absolute and relative cell references type a formula in cell E6 to calculate these cells for Monday as a product of the selling price and the number of orange cups sold. Copy it to E7 to E11. So meaning that here we are going to get say equal signs selling price times number of cups sold but this 50 is to be multiplied to all these figures meaning that it must be made fixed that is absolute press highlight it and press f4 and then this one is relative it will keep changing as days go on press enter and autofill the column save changes remember they are told us to save it as days sales days sales next is uh, C in sales F6 in cell F6 to 11 calculate the profits or loss by subtracting total cost from day's sales total cost from day's sales so meaning that here we shall say equal signs day's sales minus total cost day's sales minus total cost when we say from meaning that we begin with this so press enter you autofill so profit or loss if it is a loss it is negative a profit is positive like the way it is displayed here uh, next next on our instruction it says format or currencies to have a UGX symbol before the value. This word is value. Format or currencies to have the UGX symbol before the value. So we shall highlight these ones. Hold down control and also highlight these two. Anything to do with currency. So right click format cells. So when you got format cells, click under currency. Here, decimal presses, I think we are not asked any value, any press value. So reduce the to zero. Here, symbol, symbol. Click down on symbol, click where we have more, and on the keyboard you type UGX consecutively. UGX, it will take you exactly where UGX is. Click on it, then click OK. This is what we have so far. Save changes. Next on our question is use a function compute the grand totals in row 13 a function to compute the grand totals in row 13 so here we are going to calculate total here total here and etc equal sign is sum you highlight this close brackets enter so we want totals here total here total here so meaning that you click here and auto feed horizontally like that save changes next 
Make the title in font size 22. We highlight the title, font size 22. And then, board it in blue color. Board it, color, blue. Then, fill your title with a light green background color. That this title we feel from here. Click there and choose light green. Save changes to your work. Next, create a combined column line combo chart. Think before this chart, let's put borders on our work. Highlight your work. Right click, format cells, click the borders tab, select thick, outline, select grid, inside, click OK. So we have grids on our work, save. Then we can now go to G, create a combined line combo chart with column chart representing the number of orange juice cups made in a week's time and a line graph showing trend of loss of profit stock loss on the second vertical axis located on its own new sheet the question is here you can reread as you are attempting this number can pause a bit and reread. Okay, so let's create a chart showing number of orange cups made and the profits or loss. So we highlight orange cups made and profit or loss so we go to insert column choose that first one so from here we can move chart so new sheet can call it chart click ok and so from here, we go to Layout tab, Chart Title, above Chart, we say a column, a combined chart showing number of cups made. enter then axis title primary horizontal below axis these are days of the week days of the week and then axis title vertical number of cups okay so they are telling us that we should have a line graph showing trend of profit or loss. So meaning that we have to convert this profit or loss into a line graph. So click on one of the red bars, right click, change series chart type, choose line, click OK. So profit or loss is now in a line graph. Save changes. Next, in cell F3 on sheet 1, calculate the second highest profit made. F3, sheet 1. Then in cell F3, that we calculate second highest profit made. Equal signs, large. 
open brackets select from f6 to f11 comma second that is why we use large cross brackets enter second is 240 first is 250 okay save changes next is uh, shade the grand totals with an orange background color we highlight grand totals come to this section of shading for fill color choose orange click anywhere in your work save changes next add your names as a footer and print so we go to insert head and footer click go to footer names kapuru bernard click go to header click in your work save changes so we have come to the end of our lesson meaning that to print you click file print then from here you can print sheet one go back home tab go to the chat click file print also print your graph by clicking there so thank you for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos that will be loading thank you